Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Painting Iceland. In this video I'm going to show you a few items I got in the mail. So let's have a look after the intro. So before I show you the items I want to thank you for watching and hope you subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate your comments and, and likes and dislikes and if you Give me a dislike, please let me know why, <laughs> so I can try to do better. But uh, let's have a look at the things I got. So the first thing is not very exciting story. This is a power supply for my CR10. Uh, I had a bad power supply with a CR10 straight from the box, so to speak. Only after a few days of use, the power supply died. And now after more than a month of struggling with Creality and, and light in the box, the reseller, they finally agreed to send me a power supply um, to keep the story short. Basically, they were, were not very responsive until I did a PayPal complaint and did a request for cancelling the payment. And when I did that, they started to move and, and got a power supply sent to me. In the meantime, I was using a ATX power supply on my CR10 and I was really giving up on, on this with Creality. So I went ahead and bought a Minwell power supply and have installed that in my printer. But now, after all this time, I finally got a replacement power supply. So just after threatening to take the money back, they decided to to send, send a power supply and this really crappy support they have. And Especially with Creality, they didn't respond in any way or shape or form. I tried to reach out to them in many ways and I never got a reply from them. And, and light in the box, the reseller was, they were trying to get in contact with Creality and, and always week after week, just nothing happening. So Creality really has to step up its support channel if they want to continue be on the market. And I couldn't recommend buying a printer from a manufacturer that won't support this user especially this was a basically out of the box bad item and they were basically letting me hang dry so that's not very good but now i got the extra power supply and i can use that for some product the next box i got is from tim hockland or or th3d studio and this is a sensor for the CR10. So this is a project that I want to do on my CR10 is to get a bed leveling sensor. And here's an invoice. Here's the sensor. This one is called EC ABL Kit Direct Wire uh, Kit Version 3, and I have to print out a mount for this on my hot end, and this will connect to the to the C end stop. So this will uh, trigger when the bed is moving instead of the normal end stop. I've been looking at some videos on YouTube how to install this, and it's pretty pretty basic installation. I have to print a mount to mount this next to the fan shroud. And currently I have a, a fan type fan shroud on the CR10 and I might just take that model and, and modify it and reprint it with a fixture to, to get this in a good place. So that will be a project on the channel at some point when I install this. The last box, this one was already opened by my son. And I was curious to see what was inside, so he already opened it. But this is the Prusa MK2 to MK2.5 upgrade from Prusa Research. So here's a heat bed and the, the spring seal PI sheet, and PET-G black filament to print out the parts, and then all the parts that is needed for the upgrade, and a, a handbook. and. Uh, a manual and of course gummy beers so everything is in order and i look forward to do this build and i'm still deciding if i'm gonna do a live build with it or if i'm gonna do it just and record a video and 
I haven't decided at this point. But this was, uh, I've been waiting for this for quite some time, and um, now when I got it, I haven't had time to <laughs> install it. It's been sitting for one week at my desk. So <laughs> it's a typical thing, you can't wait to get parts, and then you get it, and, and you don't have time to install it. But this will be installed on my Prusa and Keith. 2s printer um, I'll, I'll do a video or, or a live stream maybe i'll do a live stream it's uh, i haven't done a like a project based live stream just a test live stream on my channel it could be fun to do do that and, and maybe get some comments and, and help from the community while, while i'm doing the build but those were the things i got in the mail in the last one week or so i was uh, busy with work last week and i hadn't had time to do anything on my printers but probably next week I will do some projects with those parts. But for now, I thank you for watching and I hope you like this video and, and leave a comment on, and subscribe. So for now, I thank you for watching and see you in the next one.